Hey guys, welcome to a very special episode of Art of Drumming HQ. This is my first collaboration and it's with fellow YouTuber Luminous Duck, who very kindly provided the guitar tracks and videos. Head over to his YouTube channel to find out how to play Pliny's Flaneur on guitar, as well as other dope guitar tutorials. Pliny's Flaneur is based off quintuplets as well as groupings of five. So if you're looking for a song to master those, this is it. Let me first show you two snippets of the first 1 minute and 43 seconds, featuring two grooves in these groupings of five. Let's look at the first quintuplet groove. Something really funky happens at 36 seconds on, check this out. We suddenly have a bar of hip hop groove and a J Dilla inspired one, which involves playing the upbeats ever so slightly late to achieve a semi swung laid back feel. I'm notating this actual groove in 30 second notes, but it's more accurately between 30 second and a 60 note triplet. So don't worry about nailing this one too accurately. This tiny bit of subdivision ambiguity combined with the late upbeats is what gives this groove its unique feel. The second groove involves the same quintuplet pattern orchestrated on the right and the hi-hat. This actually makes for an awkward left hand movement because you would have to hit a rim shot and immediately play the hi-hat. This part is also where the main guitar melody comes in as well as a riff that's used a lot in the song. Moving into the next groove, we will be modulating into a triplet feel. Just like in a lot of other prop songs, the guitar riff here stays the same, still in its groupings of 5. So the challenge is to feel that same riff in 5 in a different subdivision. I'll demonstrate that by playing the change with only the guitar riff for you to hear. There is a bar of 4 8 to end the phrase, but it's still all in groups of 5 because 3 bars of 12 8 plus 1 bar of 4 8 gives you 8 sets of 5. But you will notice that Pliny throws a wrench into these gears by playing one note short at the end of the next phrase. This interrupts the grouping of 5, which I notated with a bar of 3 8. He's a devil like that.
lastly, here's that whole 1 minute and 43 seconds in a playthrough. I'll be going through more of this song in a future video which features yet some more grooves in different fields but also in groupings of 5 as well as more of that trippy hip hop groove that is used in the solo sections. That's all for this episode. If you like what you see, hit subscribe and join my Art of Drumming faction and become a patron. Remember to check Luminous Duck's YouTube channel out and I'll see you guys at the next one.